Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see how to make this bend the world shader. And it's based on the camera's position as you can see. And you can also make it such that it affects only one axis. So now it's only on this one, on the X, but if you go to the left or to the right on the Z axis, nothing happens. And you can change what is the starting area is and the height you can even make it the other way around such that everything is going up instead of going down and so on so let's just jump into it alright so I'm using this uh, RPG PP underscore LT package from the asset store it's for free um, and they already built this nice scene and they have three materials that uh, I already assigned uh, not the sky but only these two I assigned this um, PBR shader graph that I just created and the only thing that you need to care about is that the albedo texture has the reference of base map so that uh, when you change underscore base map so that when you change uh, a material that already has a texture to use this shader it will transfer the texture uh, or assign the texture the same texture immediately um, and we will talk about the, the other parameters so um, Okay, and I just um, used the sample texture for that and connected to the albedo. So all the work is going to be on the position. And so we are going to get the position of the camera as well as the position of each point in the object. And it's going to be absolute world. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure what's the difference between world and absolute, uh, but we're going to use absolute for now. Uh, and we need to split this and split this as well and we will create from the X and Z um, a vector 2 because we are going to check for the distance based on X and Z and not Y which is up for both and then we can use the distance And just for playing a little bit, let's multiply uh, this value with the color before using it. And now if we go back, you should see something like this, where uh, the place that you are in, the, the, the distance is basically zero. Right, so zero multiplied by the the color is uh, black, right? And then the further you look, the brighter it becomes because it, we are multiplying, right? Okay, and uh, going up and down shouldn't matter. So that's that. So going back here, we are going to put this back. Um, we are going to add to this where does the effect starts and then we are going to multiply or probably divide not a big difference the range and we have our value ready we can also I can also show you uh, if we multiply this value by the albedo Let's save that, let's go back and let's 
use these two now you can change where does it start right and you can change also the range and the height we will, we will see what the height is okay so this is going to be our value for a lerp node the t value and we are going to lerp between um, the original position of the object and let's split this uh, and create a vector 3 so the x and y are gonna stay the same but the uh, I'm sorry the x and z but the y we are going to add the height to it and we are going to look between the, the original position and the position plus the height on the um, y-axis and now we can use this here or actually not yet because we have our position all in absolute world so we need to transform from absolute world to object and then we can connect this now if we hit save go back go here um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with this stuff um, I'm not gonna guess because it's probably gonna be wrong but um, nonetheless if we catch these two we can say where does it start oh I forgot one thing we need to clamp the value before it goes in because we don't want any values below zero so the maximum is just gonna be something like 9999 and the minimum is zero we don't want anything below zero there is probably a better way than this but oh well okay so now the starts at will define where does this effect starts at and you can see it's starting far now And if we get it a bit closer, we can change the range so that it's affecting more, change the height. And you can even go with a positive height, which would do this. I bet this would make your head go around and around if you are using it especially in VR but uh, here you have it you can obviously do it on one axis only and that's I believe if we just use the distance for let's say the X only So you will see this effect on the x-axis only. If you go front and back, nothing happens. Up and down, nothing happens. But so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Um, consider to subscribe and hit the like button if you like this tutorial. And uh, just notice that not all scenes can work because the ones that have uh, less, let me show you this real quick for this asset. Oh boy. Hmm. 
you can basically for this asset see that because of uh, the the uh, the meshes have um, well basically they are not complex enough so they split apart because they have uh, less geometry in them so this effect might not work for all the cases keep that in mind but in general it's cool um, so hit that subscribe button and the like button as well and uh, you can check my assets I have a new asset the link is in the description to support me and have a nice one